daily light. It's a uh, 100 degrees right now. Okay, maybe 98. But it was 100 degrees until I opened up my umbrella and kind of let the wind begin to blow in and blow around some of the hot air that's sitting out here on the porch. And that's not me that's the hot air. <laughs> but you know, it's funny because you find that when you talk about God or when you talk about a personal relationship, those that are seeking one to develop a personal relationship with Jesus are always interested in how to get closer to God and how to see him, hear him, reach out, you know, and have him respond to you in a way that you understand and that you would grow therein. But, you know, there are people that don't necessarily want that same perspective. They don't necessarily want to grow up unto him in all things, you know, becoming more like Jesus or becoming closer to him. They prefer a distance, like the people that were at the bottom of the mountain when they came to Sinai, when they were in the desert, when they wandered in the wilderness, and then the, they came to the Mount of God, and Moses went up, and they said to Moses, look, you go up there, you know, and you tell us what God says, and we'll do that. But we don't want to go up there, you know, because we're, we're a little afraid of him, you know. And unfortunately, today's world with religion, a lot of times that's what it's structured for, is to keep people distant from God, rather than to develop you as a personal relationship with Jesus, and you need to have one. So, it's okay if you want to be distant, you know, but God desires to make you and Him personally intimate, so you're not following the ways of men, but you're following the Word of the Lord. And in a personal way, it's very satisfying, and in some ways it's challenging and perplexing. And there are people that, when you get together, will encourage you in that. And there are some people that are going to flat out discourage you. So, you need to seek the Lord on it. You know, talk it over with God. He's your God not me or not anyone else, and find out what he would have for you. We have known and believed that love, we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God, who is rich in mercy, for in his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, has quickened us together with Christ. By grace are ye saved, and hath raised us up together, and made us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He that spared not his own Son but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. We love him because he first loved us. Blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things that were told to her from the Lord. You know, the gospel is so simple. It's really just what God has done and proved that he wants to do in you and for you because he loves you. And it boils down to just simply that. God loved you. God gave his son for you. God delivered you. God will save you. God wants you to follow his son. He says, here's my beloved son in whom I will please listen to him. He turned it over to the Son because you couldn't understand what the Father had to say when it was in the Old Testament or when it was going along and all the people were there. It was designed as living witnesses for us to learn from and to disciple, you know, as far or to discern as far as what was occurring in their lives so that we could see that God recorded their good side of their life and their bad side of their life, and yet grace and mercy still extended to them as well as to us now. And yet, Jesus comes and he explains it in a simpler way, and we have a personal relationship with him if we want it. Do you? The law is very easy to manipulate. Jews have been doing it for thousands of years. It's called the Torah. It's called the Halakha, which is added to the Torah in order to build a fence around the Torah to protect the Word of God from it being polluted, from it being distorted, from it being used, and from it being transgressed. There are four aspects that are always protecting it. And it keeps anyone, supposedly, from committing sin, so that way they would not fall into the same place when the children of Israel touched the Ark of the Covenant to steady it and drop dead. Because they treated the holiness of God with such austerity that they created such a wall of separation that sin itself was that which was protecting them from the Torah. 
they created righteousness into sinfulness. And that Jesus would not tolerate. And so when he came, he showed that there was a greater law at work, the law of the heart. The law that came from the love that God had for you. The law that said, I will, as creator, make a way that you would be able to have salvation. That you might be with me forever. But as I, as creator, have made a determination that you should be with me, should you choose not my way, then you are in rebellion and I will put you in the same place that I have put all rebellious creatures that I've created into the eternal lake of fire. Why rebel? If you don't know if God's real, prove it to yourself. Find out. Try it. It's that simple. I mean, it doesn't sound like it's real complicated, does it? Say a prayer, get there, get real with God, and find out if he's real. If you don't think he's real, put him to the test. Check it out. Jesus said, follow me. You know, you already know what the religious ideas are, but you also know that a personal relationship can be yours if you just sit down with the Bible and ask God to reveal it to you. He'll show you the way. And then church becomes a blessing and religion becomes a joy. And you'll find that a relationship is the icing on the cake. It's the foundation from which all those others come from. But you have to have a personal relationship with God. You must develop one and become a joint heir with Jesus Christ.